So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and then type in CMD. Then we're gonna run it as administrator. And I click on yes. Now once you're on this, we're gonna type in ipconfig space full slash flush DNS and click on enter. Now we're gonna type in ipconfig space full slash release. Click on enter again. Now we're gonna type in ipconfig space full slash renew and click on enter again. And now we're gonna type in netsh space winsock space reset and click on enter. It's gonna ask you to restart your computer, but don't do it yet to complete the next steps in the video. Now for the next step, you wanna head over to search and then type in view network connections. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you wanna take a note of your network adapter name right here. Then you wanna head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you wanna expand network adapters and then you wanna find your adapter. You wanna right click on it, click on update driver, and I click on search responsibility for drivers. Make sure they have the best drivers installed for your device. And now we're going to head back into here, view network connections, and you want to right click on your adapter, click on disable, right click on it again, and then click on enable. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in VPN settings, click on it. Make sure that you have no VPN connection enabled right now. You also want to head over to search again and type in proxy settings, click on it, and then do the same thing. Make sure that you have no active proxy server enabled right now. Now you just want to restart your computer and then that's fixed problem. 